Hi, everyone. I am so excited to begin this new series of Mixed Media Morsels Altered Card Play. And um, I just want to welcome all of you back who have been playing along with me for the last several years. And also want to welcome any new people that have just found my channel. Uh, I do a series every year of Mixed Media Morsels where we do mixed media art on a small scale. And this year we're going to be altering some playing cards. So I wanted to point out that we don't have to do any particular size of card for this. This is a standard size playing card. It's two and a half by three and a half inches. And there are also jumbo playing cards, okay, uh, children's playing cards, uh, just game cards. You can use any kind of card you'd like to use for this project. Also flash cards. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. The only thing you would need to just be concerned about is whether or not your uh, journal is sized appropriately for your card. Okay, so you don't want to work on a giant card if your journal is small. So just make sure you keep that in mind. You know, any any regular size card or smaller will work on the uh, the little journal that we put together in the last video. I wanted to mention that we're going to need to uh, prep our cards in order to be able to glue things down to them. Uh, we're going to need to prep them. And so there's several things you can use. You can use gesso on your card. I like to use this clear gesso. And this particular brand of Art Basics, it's made by Prima. Um, it is not gritty like some of the clear gessos I've seen. And so I really like this brand. So I'm going to probably use that a lot. There's also the option of sanding your card. And the reason we have to prep it is because it's got a plastic coating on it. Um, you can probably see, yeah, see where the light's kind of glaring. That is, um, that's going to need to be removed. So you can just lightly sand it and it will scuff up the surface. And then you want to make sure that you uh, clean it off real good and get rid of all the dust that will be there after you um, have sanded, if that's what you choose to do. There's also another option. You can just take regular um, gift wrap tissue or even like the white backing of the napkin, how you know how we often separate um, the napkins when we're uh, using napkins in our mixed media art. So you can use that white ply that you aren't using for this if you want, but you just uh, cover the surface of your card with the tissue paper and that will take away that plastic coating. So any of these options work, and you can do any or all of them in your cards uh, this, this year, and you can experiment with those and see which one you like the best. So before I start decorating my card, I wanted to show you how we're going to use prompts in creating these altered cards. I've got several cards here, and you see they're all in different colors. I've already shuffled them up, so I'm just gonna be pulling the top card off of each pile. I have no idea what these cards are, well, uh, let me tell you that back. I do know what these cards are and what they say because I made them. But I created these cards several weeks back, so it'll be still be a mystery to me each time, and I clearly won't know which cards will be pulled. So that's going to be fun for me, and I love that I will have the surprise right along with you guys. So I'm going to draw cards out of this box, and as I draw them, I'm going to put them on this sheet that I've created to hold them. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a card from the yellow pile that will tell us what our theme will be for that card. I think it's going to be really helpful to have an overall idea of what we're going to create by having a theme. And then the card uh, in green color is going to be a particular mixed media type technique that we might use on our card. Okay, the blue card is called add-ons, and these are just um, literally things we're going to physically add to the card, and I'm going to choose two cards for add-ons. Okay, this last one I have covered up just because it's kind of funny, but I decided that I would add one more add-on, and instead of keeping it with the blue 
the blue uh, color coding, I decided to make it a pink card, and I'm calling this one extra credit. <laughs> so you're not going to get any bonus points or anything like that if you use this card. <laughs> but I just thought it would be fun just because it's something that, you know, we remember from our, our school days, but we don't really use it much in everyday life. But the extra credit card is nothing more than another add-on. It's just another little element that we'll be adding. And you can consider it like a bonus or a wild card or a replacement card. Let's say you don't have or don't want to use one of these two cards. You can do this one instead. Or you can do all of them and challenge yourself and see if you can actually add everything that has been pulled which I think is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna to try to do that myself. With every month that goes by, I'll try to do that myself. If I can't, I can't, but I'm gonna try. All right, so let's get to the drawing then. I'm gonna pull the theme first. So the theme for this card is gonna be celebration. Okay, so everything uh, you know involved in the card that we're going to make this month should be about a celebration doesn't matter what kind uh, these are all open to interpretation for you guys so just use them anyway i'm not i don't have any set and hard rules to follow although i would like you to try to stay you know along with the prompts um, but do them in any way that you're comfortable with okay any way that makes sense to you or or that makes sense to your card Okay, the green card this month is use a stencil. Okay, so we'll use a stencil. Does that mean we'll use it? We have to use a stencil and paint? No, you could use a stencil with ink. Uh, you know, like ink pads. You can use a stencil with an ink pen. Just draw around the inside of the stencil. Just use the stencil in some way, even if the stencil just inspires you to do something else. Just use the stencil. Okay, for the add-ons, the first card is add a bird. Oh, I love that one. Y'all know I love my birds, right? All right, and the second card is add stripes. Okay, so we're going to add a bird and we're going to add stripes. Okay, and now our little extra credit card is add ribbon. All right, these shouldn't be too difficult. Because um, I think most all of us have these types of things. But just so that you understand how to just interpret it in, in a way that works for you. Like if you don't have ribbon, add um, washi tape. Add a strip of colored paper. Or add a strip of fabric. So just try to think outside the box and don't, don't take these too literally. Okay, and I think you'll have a whole lot of fun. So that's what I'm planning to do is have a whole lot of fun. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, creating this card. Now I do have to take a moment and go gather up some stuff because I didn't know what was gonna come up just like you. So I'm just like you're gonna need to gather up some things. I'm gonna go do that now. I will be right back and get started on creating my card for this month. Okay, so I have a few items I've pulled out here that I may or may not use. I definitely have a lot of bird images. I've got a bunch of stickers. Um, I've got some tissue paper with birds on it. And I've got lots of, like these come out of magazines, uh, little bird images. And I love all of these and I will use them at some point, I'm sure. This one is from a book. And I really like that. It's a good size for a playing card. Um, but I don't want to use these birds. And the reason for that is I've got another little bird that I really love. And it's a bird that I created a couple of years back. And I used it on a birthday card. And I love it because it's just so colorful and fun. And I made this little bird using jelly prints. And I just tore little bits and glued them down to a page and then kind of roughly drew a little bird. So I used this on a card and then of course I sent it away, but I did scan it. I'm so glad I did because this is going to be a perfect little focal point for my playing card. Now I've got a couple of pieces of, um, this is some label sheets that I have painted. 
and I'm not sure exactly which I'm going to want to put on my board, or um, I'm sorry, on my background. Um, I've got my card here, so this is a blue background, and of course the little bird kind of blends into the background maybe a little too much, although I could maybe consider that a sky, and I could kind of put some white back there for for some cloud type stuff. And I might do that. Okay, so that's an option. And then I have a yellow sheet here that's painted and I could also use that. And I think of course the bird pops out a little bit more. But the stencil that I had considered using is a tree. So that being the case, I kind of feel like I wanna use this for the sky so that I can, let me grab my stencil here. This is a very big tree, but I'm gonna use just like one little branch of it on this card. So I was thinking about something like that. So if I do that, then the little bird can sit on the branch. And I do think I would wanna put a cloud or something back in the background there. We'll work on that uh, in a second before I start that. Um, oh, and I think I'm gonna put a number one here instead of the A for the A. So I'm gonna put a one in the corner and um, and that way I can kind of leave that showing. And so I'll have, the only one I have to change is that one. And then um, your playing cards go through 10. So when we get to 11 and 12, I'll also put a number in, in place of, you know, whatever's on the card. Okay, so that's how that's gonna go. I do need to go ahead and um, prep my card and let that be drying. So I'm gonna scoot this up just a little bit out of the way. And I'm just gonna put some of this gesso on it and let that be drying while I work on my background. So it looks white and it will look kind of, um, you know, milky, but it's actually gonna dry clear. So that's what that's gonna be about. Now, since the back side is also coated, we're gonna have to put a little bit of whatever we do on here. We're gonna have to do the same thing on the back, at least in the area where it's gonna be glued down because you're gonna still have that plastic coating back there and you're gonna to try to glue it down so it may not adhere well. I'll let this dry and then I'll flip it over. And then, you know, I'm gonna be writing my prompts on this little uh, half of an index card. I trimmed it off at the top just a little bit too so that it would slide behind the card easily. So, um, so I don't need to cover the entire back, but I do wanna cover the three edges where I'm gonna glue it down. We're gonna bring the gesso back again. And um, I'm just gonna put uh, the gesso on the back side where these three edges are. And you see, I'm just putting it right on the edge so that when I put glue there, it will have something to hold on to. It doesn't take a lot. You just want a coating of it there. Everything is dry. And I'm going to go ahead and attach my background to my card. Just peel this down. I know I'm not going to need the whole card. I mean the whole sheet. So I'm just going to fold this down a little bit and... 
And then I'll keep the rest in case I need it later. Okay, so I'm just gonna, let's see. I'm just gonna attach it. And this was literally just a scrap of paper and it's just, it's like exactly the right size. So let me see if I can get it on there just right. I think I'll move it up just a bit and that way I can trim it off the edge. Okay, I think we got it. Yep, just a tiny bit, not covered, but that's okay. We will work with that. So the next step then is going to be for me to use my stencil and um, put my little tree in place. I kind of feel like I just want to draw it and then color it in. So I think that's what I'll do. I just need to get some markers out. I'm going to just draw it with the pencil and, um, and then I'll come back and color it in. I think right about here is good. Let's see how tall my bird is. Oh, you know what I did? I put my sticker down and didn't leave the um, the card showing. <laughs> see if I can see if it will let me peel it up. Okay, good. Yeah, I fully intended to just kind of tear that a little bit. <laughs> it's a good thing I thought of it. Before I start adding all kinds of other things. Okay, so let's just tear it like that. Yep. Here we go. Ooh. Glad I caught that. So glad. I'll put a little bit more of this there. Okay, now we're ready to draw the draw the tree branch. Okay, here's my bird. Yeah, see, I just want to make sure that the branch is low enough. To where his tail doesn't cover up the um the number and all okay so that's going to work out fine so i'm going to just kind of leave it right about there and i'm going to move it over just a tad okay that's good all right so i'm just drawing inside the stencil Just color this in with the marker. I could do this with the marker right now, but um, I don't know. I just felt like this might be simpler um, than getting marker all over everything, all over the stencil. I mean, okay. So there's my. There's my little tree. I made it a little too heavy. Let's see if we can take some of that back off again. Because it's really dark. This is just one of those kneaded erasers. So I'm just kind of pressing it into the pencil mark and letting it lift some of it off. Not too concerned about the tree trunk, but I don't want the leaves to be too dark, I don't think. But probably doesn't matter because I'll probably go over and outline it with a black pen or something anyway.
So now we can put our bird on. And I'm going to finish uh, cutting out around his little legs. I didn't do that earlier because I didn't want them to get torn or bent. I think I'm going to cut them shorter just a little bit. Tiny bit. Just finish cutting and cutting it out. I love this silly little colorful birdie. Oops, that's got to be cut off too. Okay, let's see. Right about there. Okay. Very cute. Putting right on the end there. All right. And I bet you're wondering where the celebration comes in, aren't you? <laughs> well, funny you should ask. Okay, we've got stripes to do and celebration and a ribbon still. I'm going to do a ribbon someplace. But I do have some striped paper here that this was just some paper that was uh, wrapped around envelopes. I believe it was envelopes that came in something. So, you know, it was holding the envelopes together. And I saved it, of course, because it's gorgeous. I actually had two of them, and I've already used one somewhere. I just don't remember where. But I'm going to take a piece of this, and I think I'm going to go right, let's see. I think I'm going to go right in here. Okay, and I'm going to snip off a piece of this, and I think that's about enough. And I'm going to make this birdie a birthday hat <laughs> to wear on her little head. Um, so I'm just going to cut a triangle. See, did I get that? I think it needs to be a little bit angled more. Here we go. All right, so now we have a triangle. I'm gonna curve the, um, the front edge just a little bit. Or the bottom edge, I guess I should say. There we go. Let's see if that's gonna fit her. It's a little bit big. I'll have to cut it down just a little bit, but you get the idea. <laughs> So cute. All right, so I'm gonna make it a little bit narrower on this, on each side, just a little bit. And a tiny bit shorter too, so that. Because it was a little bit too tall. That's cute, very cute. You could even sit kind of sideways or something, I don't know. <laughs> so there's the celebration. She's going to a party. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, so let's just glue this stuff down. She needs some white in there though, little stripes of white. Some in the air like that. <laughs> I'll probably add a word also. So we have a little bit left to finish up here. Um, I need to stick on my little number one. So I'll do that now. Oops, there we go. And I know my paper here is a little bit wider than the card, but you know, it is what it is. And so that's what it's gonna be. 
I think I'm gonna snip the edge of the corner, I mean, of that off just because it's rounded there. There we go. Now, I do have a word I'm gonna put on. I had a little stamp, and so I stamped out this, um, this word, enjoy. It's very tiny. And I'm gonna put that on my card here at the bottom. I think I like it right here. <laughs> Very sweet. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. All right, and so the only thing remaining, see I did, this is our theme, I did that. Um, I used a stencil, added a bird, and added stripes. And the only additional thing now is the ribbon. So I didn't leave a whole lot of room for anything else <laughs> on this card, but I think I will be able to put a little tab at the top and I'm just reaching for my stapler, thinking I might just staple on a little, a little tab. I have, I'm determined I want to use this ribbon because it's just so fun. Doesn't that look like a celebration? I mean, really. Um, it looks like little candy sprinkles or whatever, like you'd see on a cupcake or something. I just love it. And originally, I was thinking I might put it across the bottom, but it just covers too much of everything I have at the bottom. So I think it's going to be just as cute to add a little piece of it right up here. <clears throat> so let me cut off a piece. I don't really know how much I need just yet. So I'm gonna just start there and see if I can make it work. So it's only printed on one side, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's see how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna cross, I'm gonna turn it to where I can see both, both of the front side, and I'm gonna crisscross it then, and then that makes a little bit of a, a triangle-like point there at the bottom. And I think that will be kind of cute to just staple right up here. And it still looks, you know, playful and like a celebration. And it just looks fun to me. All right, so I'm gonna staple it pretty, pretty close to the edge because that's where my glue will be. And so I don't have to worry about a card sliding over a staple. All right, there we go, got it. All right. <laughs> That's cute. I think I'll actually trim it just a little bit more. Use my sharper scissors. I like it a little bit shorter, I think. All right. Yeah, I like that lot, a lot better. Okay, so I have all of the elements on my card. I am tickled to death with this little card. I love it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide my page out. This is another um, beauty of a journal that is bound like this, is that you can slip the pages out and just kind of work on that and then slip it back in. You don't have to worry about the, bu the book or trying to keep it open or anything like that. I think that's that works out really well. Okay, let's finish this coffee. Okay, this looks absolutely adorable just like it is uh, on this page. However, <laughs> I want to add a little bit more just to brighten it up and make it look more like a celebration. So I've got just a couple of pieces of um, some scrapbook paper scraps. I'm determined to use this stuff, you guys. <laughs> So this one, and once again, I pulled a scrap out that is exactly the right size for the page. I promise you I did not cut anything. And this one, of course, is not, but still, I can trim that down. Um, but I really think I'm going to like the way this looks. It just brings so much more of a bright and happy and playfulness uh, to the card to me. 
the pink over here pulls the pink from the hat and all over that way, you know. And then uh, the white that's left over here in the word and in the corner here, it works with the white being on the opposite side. And I just love how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those two pieces down. And um, I think I'm going to cut a little bit of this one off because then I'll have, you know, another scrap. <laughs> Yet another one. Okay. No, I tease because y'all know I love my scraps. I love having scraps and I love being able to create with them and make something out of them that those pieces that most people would just throw in the garbage. I love being able to create something with those. And uh, the fact that I have scraps means that I've been creating. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. If you get too many scraps and you're burdened with them, give them away, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. And I already um, wrote out my prompts uh, off camera. I wrote out um, what I want my little cards to look like. Uh, each month they'll look something very similar to this. And so of course that's gonna slide right in here behind my little playing card. I just love it. This is making me so happy, you guys. You just have no idea. <laughs> Well, you will have an idea because when you make yours, you're gonna you're gonna know, you're gonna see. All right, I'm gonna use some tacky glue. Now, if that doesn't work, I think it will. But if it doesn't work and it doesn't stick, I'll use something like my uh, Faber Tac or something like that. Okay. And I'm just basically um, keeping the glue on the white edge here. That's a good way to. Um, Remember where you want to have your glue, that you won't go past the white edge. <laughs> so, well, for me, that's what that's what's working out for me. I don't know if your cards will look exactly like mine or not. So, okay, All right, and then I'm just gonna pop that down here. Now I didn't put it quite in the center. I kind of have it shifted just a little bit that way. And that's because this is gonna stick out just a little bit when it goes in. There's a little bit of a of a remnant. I don't want to push it too far and get it into the glue, but I think it's kind of, you know, splitting the difference sort of. So I'm gonna take that back out so we don't get it gluey. And I'm gonna hope that that uh, sticks down there real well. This can always be clipped too with some little binder clips or clothes pins or something like that. But I actually think it's gonna do okay just holding it for a few minutes is helping it to, um, to stay put. So I'll check it every now and then, make sure it's okay. Um, I was thinking that I might wanna put a little tab of this on the outside. I actually first considered doing a little a little paper tab. This is just a little piece of cardstock. Um, I actually thought about putting something like that on the end, and um, it's a little bit plain. I could always cover it with a piece of this, but honestly, I think it might just be easier just to put a little tab like that um, sticking out on the side, so I think I'll do that. And just maybe staple it on again. Let's see. That should be about right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see when that goes inside. It stops right about here, so it's about a quarter of an inch that it's that it sticks out. If you cut your three and a half, I mean your three by five cards in half, 
it actually sticks out from your card just about a quarter of an inch. So then if there's a little, a little tab on there, Trying to see how far in it needs to, to go. It hangs over the page a little bit there. Um, I don't know. Another alternative is to just run um, a piece of this down the length of the card. And that would be fine too. I kind of like that better. See if I can gently slide it in there. <laughs> that just adds to the party. <laughs> I love it. That is so sweet. And you know what? Just simply because I like to see things in threes, I might put a little piece of that over here too, just to kind of just to kind of balance it out maybe at the bottom let's see there we go we've got our first card i think i got everything on there that i was supposed to put on and i'm going to just slide my page back in and we can take a look I'm very happy with this. I hope you guys have as much fun as I just had. This was amazing. And I can't wait till next month already. <laughs> have fun uh, with your card. And uh, I cannot wait to see what you create. For any of you who are new here and participating, um, I have a Facebook group called Mixed Media Morsels. There is a link in the description of this video. And uh, what we do is we create our little pages every month and then we post them in the group and share so that everyone can see and it's just so much fun and it's so inspiring to see what everyone creates uh, on our little challenge so i invite you all to come over and uh, click the join button and have fun and play with us all right take care everybody and uh, we will see you again very soon in the next video thanks for watching bye bye